My neighbor literally decided that he's gonna start sanding his front gate at this very moment that I sat down. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel, my name is Stanzi and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be a Kmart dressing room, fitting room try on video. I went over to Kmart and I tried on a few items in the plus size section as well as the straight section. The straight section actually goes up to a size 20. So sometimes I hover around in there and look for things in the size 20. If they have stretch, I tend to like be able to squeeze them on whether they fit or not that's a different story but I always give it a go. Now I actually did plan to do a best and less try on today over at their dressing room. I went over I picked out a bunch of stuff and then they told me that their dressing room was closed so unfortunately that one's going to have to wait until their dressing rooms are back open unless it was just at the store that I was at. But today we are over at Kmart. I did have a wander around in the store uh, just before I popped on the clothes. I had a look at some of the handbags they had. Literally the store was very, very picked over. Granted, today is the beginning of the week. So the weekend was probably super, super busy and everyone's bought a lot of stuff. So they were putting stock out. Uh, there were some decent handbags, but a lot of them were just like big sort of tote bags some scarves, there were some sunglasses, there was a little bit of everything as you guys know, it's Kmart. I also had a look in the shoes section and I just felt that there was absolutely nothing there. There was a few like slip-on shoes, a couple of sandals, but really nothing on. I had, When I had a look online there was a few more things so I don't know if it's the fact that it was picked over or maybe they haven't really put out the summer stock just yet. But I do know since lockdown was over everyone kind of you know ran over to Kmart so they're probably low on a lot of stock. And however the shopping center that was at Kmart was the only store that kind of offered plus size that besides Big W that hadn't done the dressing room just yet. So I thought I'll just do that today. So let's get started with some of the items that I tried on. So the first item that I tried on was in the straight section and it was this knit top that it was like this mushroom brown color. Now I tried it on in a size 18 only because I saw that it had quite a lot of stretch and I kind of like it to sit a little bit more fitted. Now this top was nice and like thick up the top so you, you won't show your bra straps. It had a nice like V kind of like a rounded V neckline and it was long and it had the splits on the side. I guess it the, the design of it looked to me that it's meant to be worn like either long like that over some tights or you kind of fold it over a little bit. Um, you know, you can have it short at the front, longer at the back. For me personally, I don't quite like wearing long tops like that. I just don't find them flattering on myself. So I would wear it tucked in or just fold the top over because I found it made quite a difference to the way it looked when I folded it and it looked a little bit shorter. I felt like it was more flattering on me than when I was wearing it out. But I feel like it's quite versatile for depending on the kind of person you are and the way you like to wear items and also like what's in fashion as well. It was quite comfortable. As you guys could see, the size 18 fit me quite well. I could have even sized up to the 20. It would have been probably a little bit more looser around the stomach area. Uh, I recommend if you want a more of a fitted look like myself to size down. Now I'm generally a 22 to a 24 depending if the items have a stretch or not. And as I've said, I came out, I do sometimes wander in the straight section just to see if any of the stuff would fit me. But this top was cute. I liked it. It retailed for $15 and the bigger size was a 20. So next I was the over in the plus size section and I saw this like floral dress. And when looking at it on the hanger, I was like, oh, that looks a bit frumpy. I don't really like it. But I thought, you know what? We're all different. So let me try it on because there's other people that might suit. They might like it. We all have different tastes. And when I put it on, I actually liked it. See, sometimes when I look at things on the hanger, it just doesn't, you know, give it justice, I suppose. And also, I guess when it's a bigger size, you can't really tell how it's going to look until you try it on. Now, I tried on this dress in the 20 because there wasn't a 22 or a 24 available. So I just thought, let me try on the 20 and see. And it still fit me. It was probably a touch tight in the like boob area i would have probably liked a little bit more room there and then i felt like it might have sat a little bit longer but regardless it still fit me the arms had room as well were nice and flowy and the dress was quite flowy it's definitely the style that's in now and what i liked about it was it was actually like shorter not too short the way i don't like too short but it actually came to the knee which was actually quite nice i am finding now a lot of the style is this in-between length it's not long and it's not short but it's like not even just after the knee it's kind of 
just above the ankle which I don't feel is flattering to me and I like that this dress wasn't that length uh, and it was actually cute I love the flowers quite florally girly it really made me feel girly and I thought you know if you're gonna picnic or even shopping or day with the girls this is really cute put on a cross crossbody bag adorable you could even pop on a belt if you want to bring the waist in really cute this one retails for $22 not too bad for just like a nice quick easy summer dress Next, I was still in the plus section and this blue dress caught my eye. I really liked the color and I felt like the pattern was quite elegant looking. So I thought, let me try it on. It looked nice and long. Now, it had a nice tie up for the waist area, which I think really made the dress look great on. I feel like without the tie, it just looks really frumpy and I guess it depends on what low look you're going for but I personally feel like it looked frumpy and just too airy so the tie sort of brings the dress in what I didn't like was the straps were too thin uh, you could always see my like bra no matter what bra I wear I'm not anyone who would ever wear strapless so I didn't like that but the straps were adjustable which was quite good so if you needed to bring it up higher for yourself or lower you definitely could the material was quite thin but I guess that's what's in for summer flowy and we all are also at Kmart the dress was nice and long and flowy. I feel like it sat really well. It had that like uneven kind of handkerchief style bottom, which was also quite cute, kind of bringing the flowiness to the dress. Nice and summery, airy, flowy. You don't even need to wear shapewear underneath this. Really cute for summer. I tried on this dress in a 24 and I feel like that size was fine for me. I probably even could have done a 22. They didn't have the 22 to try on though, but the 24 fit me just fine. And this one retails for $20. So next I tried on the item that I first saw in the store and just a staple but it was this white singlet bodysuit and by singlet I mean it was like thick so not a thin singlet nice and thick I have a three quarter sort of top similar to this in like a blush color which was also a bodysuit and the problem was with that top I cut it so I didn't want the bodysuit bit and then the top didn't doesn't I feel like doesn't stay as well on me when I walk around it slowly kind of goes up and up and up and it just sort of looks weird so now I know get the size that's yours and the body and the bodysuit should fit fine and at first I thought oh it came out the bodysuit might not fit me so I grabbed it in a size 20 the biggest size I had because this was in the straight section and it actually did fit uh, in the changing room I didn't really want to buckle it up just in case like I wasn't going to get or anything it did have the protective cover on that bit and I did have my shapewear on so then like you know nothing was touching anything but I just want to show you guys that it was quite long and it would definitely fit me they also had it in a black if there was more colors I would definitely get one in every color because this is something that would be a staple to me that I would wear all summer long especially like a white singlet I have so many skirts to wear so and I love this and then I love that the fact that it's a bodysuit means that I don't get the bunching which I normally do with tops they kind of bunch around or you can see the line going across this one is only nine dollars so such a bargain when they get more collars in I'm definitely getting them <laughs> I did however pick up the one that I tried on because I know I'm going to wear the life out of this one. <laughs> Next I saw this green skirt with the little flowers on there over in the plus section. I grabbed a size 22 to try on and I thought it was really cute. It has an elastic waist up the top. The pattern was really nice and like florally beautiful now for spring and it's got that sort of like ruffled bottom that is now sort of in fashion. I love that it's not super duper long. I personally might like it a touch shorter but I didn't mind the length at all. It kind of also went with the bodysuit that I tried on. I think the 24 may have stayed a little bit better because what I was finding with this one was because I'm bigger in the hip area, it fit me fine in the hip. It didn't seem tight, but because I have a smaller waist, the kind of gathering at the waist area was bunching up and just looking a little bit odd. It was looking like I had a top underneath that was gathering. And when I would pull it down, uh, the, it did, that area didn't fix itself because of the like waist to hip ratio. So I feel like personally for my body probably didn't work as well. It's probably not that noticeable to the eye but because I was trying it on the change room, I could sort of notice it and it was a little bit bothering me. But otherwise, I still think it was pretty cute. So this one was only $18. And I think that's not too bad for a nice skirt like that. Lastly, I saw this denim skirt on the hanger in the plus section and I grabbed a size 22 and I thought, you know what, let me try it on. Usually the denim skirts that came out, I actually don't think they stay very well. I don't really like them. But I thought, you know what, let me give it a go. Let me show you guys. 
and I loved it. I love that it had pockets. I love the elastic waistband. I just thought it stayed so well on me. I was umming and ah about getting it and I probably should have got it. I didn't, but I may go back because I just thought it was so comfortable and it just fits so well. It had a tiny little split at the back, which wasn't too like, normally they're so high that I don't like that, but I liked how it was like not overly fitted. Like it was just nice and straight. The color was a lovely denim color and I feel like now with summer it will go with so many like t-shirts or singlets, any sort of color. Just a nice like everyday staple skirt it would be. The skirt was also only $15 so for me I kind of thought it was a bargain and now that I'm at home I'm like you should have just picked it up Stanzi. But it's Kmart. One part of me is like but it's Kmart they'll have more and then the other part of me is like Kmart sells out so quickly by the time I go they probably won't have it. But I did feel like it fit really really well so if you guys see it at your Kmart give it a try on you might like it too. And they were all the items that I tried on for you guys today. I did want to do some more stuff, but it was really, really picked over. And pretty much a lot of the stuff was just kind of like some active wear or just some other t-shirts that I personally probably wouldn't wear and also felt that they were a little simple. So I will probably will do like another Kmart one next month, hopefully when they have more stock in so then I can show you guys some more stuff. And this time the plus size section really did not have much in there at all. I was very surprised. Usually they have at least a little bit more, but pretty much one whole rack was just kind of like active wear pants and some black pants. So possibly they haven't unpacked it all as yet yet. I did, as I was in Kmart, have a wander over to the Christmas section. I just couldn't help myself. Christmas is like my favorite part of the year and I love Christmas decorations so much. So I wanted to have a look and see what they had. I wandered on over and I was like, oh my God, why am I here? Because I want everything. They had some really cute like decorations and some of the stuff sort of looked like it was similar to last year's, but a little bit elevated or bigger than it was. I saw some nutcrackers, like a little tower. I love that. I want that too. Everything I was like, I want this, I want this. And then I was like, calm down, Stanzi. You don't need it all. But it's also not Christmas yet. We've still got time. Uh, but my thought was, if you don't get it now, it'll probably be gone because that's how Kmart is. It just goes so quickly. And I feel like everyone is in such a shopping mood. So if you're in a Christmas mood, head on over. There are so many, so many things there. As I was looking around the Christmas section, I saw these lanterns and I thought, they are so cool, but they only had, there was only one in like a big black one and there was one big white one. I thought, I feel like lanterns need to kind of come in pairs. And when I lifted up, they were just plastic and they look so cute. And I was like, oh man, I need to have a look online to see if they have more. Because as you guys know, stuff in Kmart just goes in a flash. And then I turned around the corner and I saw them in like a smaller version and there was about four of them in there. And there were some white ones and I thought, you know what, if I don't get this now, there won't be any left so I got them how adorable are they I love these like I see lanterns and I just I don't know it just gives me Christmas vibes and I just wanted it so much so they were five dollars each and they weigh nothing but I just love the look of them like absolutely love it and I just had to have them because I thought I bet you next time they're just not going to have them and then when I was at the checkout this lady walked past me and said oh wow they're really cute where did you get them from and I was like Christmas section and then she was like, oh, I've got to go back in now. So I thought, see, as soon as people see them, they're going to want them. So I had to get these. They were more important to me than the denim skirt. I know it's too early, guys. I still have the Halloween decorations up. But all in all, it was a pretty decent shop at Kmart today, considering that I, they were really doing restocking, especially the Christmas section. There was, a, there was a lot in there, but they were adding a lot more. And the clothes section was like a mess, but I guess that was due to the weekend. Comment down below and let me know if you guys have found any decent things lately over at Kmart. I do think their, K their plus section needs a big improvement. I feel like I see so much about it that it's going to get better, but maybe it will this summer. I don't know. A lot of the stuff I see, and perhaps it could be the stores that I'm going to, don't have a lot of stock in there and don't have anything that I personally would wear. So, I don't know. It's, it, yes and I know with Kmart sometimes. But that is the end of this video today, guys. If you do enjoy me checking out dressing rooms, let me know if there's any that you want me to try. Mainly stores that, you know, go have a plus size section. Let me know and I'll try and do what I can. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.